Well, there it is. Hey, welcome to a strategy request. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's go for it then. So, I'll explain in a moment. We'll just get the fundamentals on the go. There we are. Fast Death Knight is fast. This strategy is from Tillum. I'll see if I can uh, replay it, but it never works for me when I try this. Ready? Nah. Didn't work. But basically, Tillum says, I have a strategy, but it is too long for 255 characters. Here is a preview. Play on dead. Only use units that can regenerate health very fast. Meat wagons or units that can summon units. Try to lose as few units as possible and abuse the healing abilities. Well, okay. Give that a go. So, yeah, I don't do one versus one so often. He wanted this to be done in one versus one, so we're going to give it a go. So, starting off with def some Death Knight. I think scout, see what it is my opponent's up to, and try to do some creeping strategies to get me off to a good start whilst I'm building the fundamentals of ghouls to get my economy going, my tier 2 going, and then mm, probably more ghouls. So generally speaking, death knight, ghouls, wagons, necros. I'm not 100% sure where I go from there, but for the time being this will do. What if he's going fast here, or Blade Master? We will see. I haven't really practiced this kind of creeping, but I'm familiar with it, so I think this will work. I hope it will work. I need a skeleton though. A couple of skeletons. So I can maybe manage it. I can get a potentially good item if I can pull this off. Alright, it is fast here. So we're just gonna distract him instead time he's going to my base is time he's not coming to me so tech my second there's a tech he's still distracted by this excellent right I have something I want to try out It'd be nice if there was another skeleton, though. I could use nearby. I don't know if this is going to work 100%. Oh, never mind. I got here just in time. Huh. <laughs> that wasn't... That's funny. I wasn't expecting him to be there. We can get some experience from that. Although the downside of that... What are you doing? Yeah, careful, mate downside of that is I want to do a trick here but I don't know if he's going to spot me doing it now because he's going to be within this area let's try it anyway to hell with the consequences this guy right here will drop a nice item if you kill him and he shouldn't be too difficult with a whole bunch of skeletons undead imbalance pick him off it's stealing well the item isn't too good but it's still an item that goes to me and not to my opponent Let's go get a graveyard. Carry on with the ghouls. I'm just going to harass his base, if not. Slow down his wood economy, because I don't think there's too much more I can accomplish at this point. The more time he's got those peons in the burrows, the less time he is attacking me with it. Just being a real pain, to be honest with you. That's the main goal here. Just make his life a bit more difficult. Nice. One of these blocked me in. Nope, the trees are open. So he's come back for that. Upgrade is almost complete. Am I going to go for a second hero? Maybe. Yeah, we could go second hero. Let's pull back now. I don't think there's much more to accomplish here. Just see what he's crept. Most likely this camp here, because he seems to be a relatively new player. So I don't think he's doing any particular tricks. That's a lot of units. He clearly wants to do this in a moment. So we're going to make it look like we're walking away completely, but we're not really. He'll probably turn back for that or chase me hard. Either way, I will respond. It looks like he's chasing half in a moment, at least with two grunts and the fast here as well. 
As you order. Summoning is yeah. So I want stuff that essentially can regenerate. Dark Ranger isn't exactly good versus Orc, but you know, she does have the life drain, so it kind of works. He is just chasing like a champ. I guess we'll just go around in circles because this is time he's not spending actually doing much else. So fair enough. Skeletons won't last forever. There's not much else to kill. Oh, it is still the whole army. Nope, not going to stop that. Gives me some time to escape, maybe. Now, going to want necros, assumably. So we're going to get those things that line up to it. We'll see what his tech is enabled him. He hasn't actually built his tier 2 buildings yet. Uh-oh. Gonna stand here so my Death Knight can get out as well. That was close. I needed to use the Dark Ranger to block there. He's using the Speed Scroll. He's almost pulled it off! But he was so close to having that. He can still potentially get it because Speed Scroll is freaking ridiculous. And Death Knight gets away. <laughs> Dark Ranger's gonna sneak off to the left. And he's going to get annoyed by that. He's probably going to just creep this in frustration. So we're going to be ready to respond to that in a second. Okay, let's go. Oh, he hasn't. Ah, there we go. We can always start the crit camp off so he like, is forced to try to do something. And worst case scenario, the creeps buff themselves. Ah, uh, for him, anyway. The casting. Ah. Okay, let's build up our necros. Is he committing? No, it looks like the creek camp has returned. I'm going to just aggro it again, just so it casts more frost armor. I want as much frost armor and all of that, because that's orc don't like frost armor. We're going to send our units to our heroes. I think we could actually go for an expansion now, if we really want to sort of make sure that we're in good stead. Because he's not in a position where he can stop me, other than if he just comes straight to my base, he could totally stop me. But is he going to do that? Should I take the gamble? I'm going to get this Orb of Corruption, even though it really doesn't make sense. I can't really resist it. There's no Lich. I can maybe get a Lich as a third hero. We could turn the uh, Banshee Queen. So she won't be using that unless I turn it off. The Whams. We're all still level 1, by the way, so not exactly impressive on the levels. But she'll run out of... Oh my goodness. Thank you very much, Joyful. Alright. So I'm going to carry on just creeping nearby whilst my expansion is being set up. Yeah, that did get me a little bit. So we can always turn it off and then switch it back on again. Bit of a pain to do so, but the idea really is that she kind of runs out on mana enough that I'm actually going to start using her only for life drain, because it's more part of the strategy than Black Arrows is, but Black Arrows is still good for the moment. In fact, we can turn that off and just do this now. Because we got enough skeletons, haven't we? That's enough skeletons, I think. Right, uh, let's get meat wagons, uh, upgrades for necromancers, more echoes. Can totally use these skeletons, the healthy ones, if I have any. Did I lose one of my ghouls? I might have lost one of my ghouls. I want like a healthy skeleton. There's no such thing as a healthy skeleton. They've all got low durations. Oh, 
Turn it on a little bit. Okay, let's send some of those skeletons now to go check. There are easier things in life to control than what I'm doing right now. So forgive me for my sloppiness. This is not gameplay that I'm particularly familiar with. I'm going to turn that off now. Just reveal over here. So we can see he's over there. We can be really annoying. Get a sapper. Dark Ranger really struggling to get over to that Tome of Intelligence. That's why you wonder why people don't pick up Tomes. It's because your hero spazzes out so much trying to do it. So this isn't really like the attack to finish him off, but it might be enough to put him off. Do, do, do. He's not TP'd, so is he going to run back? He's got triple bestiary. Seems to have some sort of strategy in mind. If he went mass air, that could be a problem for me. Okay, I'm going to TP now. Oh! Blade Master at the last second there. Alright, let's carry on creeping. Lightning shield. Turn off black arrows. Get one more on that. Banshees would be funny as well. I don't think there's really many other undead units that sort of like. Hang on a second. Can we drop some fiends and get some corpses? What happened to the, um... Oh, no, I might have used Black Arrow first as them, so again, it fights against you. Right. Do you mind? So rude. Shame I don't have dust. Ah. Oh. Okay. Don't think I really lost much there. Carry on creeping then. Made the, the strong get stronger. I shouldn't really be giving an orc this much trouble. Expansion there. Nothing here. Nope. Has he crept this? He's crept that. So he's crept that side. Uh, I think meat wagons benefit from that, don't they? Yes, they do. Ah, he hasn't crept this. I thought he would have crept that. Oh, this is bad. Because I don't have the TP on this hero. So we're going to lose a lot here. I mean, this is where strategies can falter a little bit. 
Because this is not something you should be doing versus Orc. Full stop. Mass Wyverns. Feels bad. I might try to hard counter it then. I mean, mass meat wagons versus uh, wyverns makes me sad. Oh. Meat wagons, no! It's a cruel world for meat wagons. <laughs> They're all getting killed. He just beat, he just a focus on every single one. Doesn't seem to care though too much, does he? So that was a pretty successful attack for him. If we throw in some fiends, we can definitely deal with those annoying uh, things. That would I should have got some fiends earlier, but I was avoiding them because they're not really units that are known for their health. I suppose they are actually because they burrow, but I was thinking more ghouls in the sense that they have cannibalize and all that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to fill the strategy niches, but I forgot this item. Feels good. This is not something I am comfortable playing, but here we are, giving it a go, nonetheless. So let's go get those Banshees, get those Necros, carry on creeping. He surely has to be trying to set up an expansion at this point. Go on, look at that fiend, he's like, I want it, I want it so bad! Cool, blimey, that was the worst fiend of all time, that one. Right, are we going to pick up these items that we can't pick up? Oh, he's coming up here. That's what he's up to. This is such a weird game. Alright. i got to constantly keep reiterating these hotkeys here. So that I don't get too flustered. He's just coming back round over there. He's, he's just in annoyance mode. He must have set up an expansion. He just wants to be annoying. He hasn't got an expansion there. He's just in full-on annoyance mode at the moment. He's going to run back round again to the left-hand side. Sniped. Oh, I got one. Oh, double cripple! He hasn't got an expansion here. So I thought he was trying to buy time for it or something. Alright, I see. We're going to trade my expansion, are we? 
All right, let's trade my expansion for your base then. I'll get nice and cushy in your base. I was supposed to have meat wagons, but of course I've lost them all now. I'll try and get them back. I can't possess because I've got no mana for it, unfortunately. He's run out of resources. Or has he? Dark Ranger, you can do it. I trust in you. Here we go. It's just going to go for the base. Such a troublesome game. He doesn't want to die easy. Uh, no, not quite. I suppose I should TP, but then it means I've got to walk all the way back. Fine. He's going to get like pillage damage here and stuff as well. Oh, we managed to pick up a few extra bonuses. How many units? This is why in Reforge we need, at least for undead players, one button that can just group all of your units together. <laughs> yeah, get him, boys. Oh, here we go. Now he's going to run around here. Oh, my God. Rehockey everything again. I wish only to I gladly obey. What a pain. Oh no, he's over here now. Has he got sentry wards or something? I started running back and he's decided to come back this way. Cripple? That's going to be handy. Stop him from running away so much. Actually, we can possess one of those. Trimble! Look how fast that blade monster is! He's got a cripple on! It's the speed! Scroll! Scroll! No! No! <laughs> uh. Round and round we go. Where he lands, we just don't know. There's so many bloody units all over the place. Alright, set up another... Oh, he had an expansion over here the whole time. That's what he was buying time for. Okay, okay. So we knew he was, he was most likely buying time for something. Alright. So he's going to keep trying to hit my base over and over. Here we go. He's going to go for the base. So we've got to do as much damage here as possible. Leave a whole bunch of units and then TP back with the rest. So we can't get too much murder and too much pillage. And if he pillages, TP's back over here, we'll just go straight there. Because 
because we still got our stuff over here to do damage. I'm going to send my heroes to the east hand side so they'll get there before he does and the rest of these units can go down so they can still intercept him if need be. <laughs> Trying to possess. You ain't got enough time to possess. Ah, this guy though does not want to die, and I've got too many bloody units to be messing around with this kind of strategy. Better watch that fast here. I told you to watch that fast here. And bloody Blade Master gets away. Good charm here. If we just get the towers here, that Blade Master can't do too much damage because he needs to heal as well. So we're getting the towers at our expansion, and we can go back to his base. Ow, oh, it's so much effort. I told you he's just going to come over here, but those towers should be able to deal with him because they know that's what he's going to do and he wants to drag me back but I don't want to keep going back because it's tedious so one of those towers is going to go up and hopefully have enough DPS for him there we go that deals with that going to try to pick off my goal. He had to win walk there because he's on so low health and the towers are getting him there. He's hanging in there, isn't he, to the bitter end. Oh, did he pick off my goal? Not quite. So unless he's starting to hide buildings at this point. Oh, it's too many units to worry about. Too many units. Uh, could this be the last building? Hey. Okay. He was trying to buy time. I checked for expansions earlier. He didn't have them, but he must have snuck that one in with a tiny great hall or something. Look at the units. I had 236 units. It's just... This is where... This is one of the few circumstances where you definitely need more than 12 units in a hockey group. It just gets so messy. They're so cumbersome. You actually did quite well on the levels, considering. And you look at the gold. He was only just a tiny bit behind. I think those meat wagons gave him a lot of experience though, to be fair, and they didn't do much for me. Maybe I went too early into meat wagons, but there you go. Should have got some fiends ready to back me up first. Still, GG. Strategy complete. Thank you very much there, Tim. GG.